Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is going to be a unboxing of Spider-Man Homecoming Hot Toys figure. Spider-Man. <laughs> welcome back guys. If you are new to my channel, then it's not really welcome back, it's just welcome. But if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I have quite a few coming up, quite a few videos coming up pretty soon. I recently did an unboxing of the homemade Spider-Man Hot Toys figure. So if you want to check that out, that video is already up on my channel. This one we're going to be looking at right now, today, is just the standard version of this. It's not the deluxe, it's just a the regular Homecoming Spider-Man figure from Hot Toys. Let's look at the box first. We'll look at the box first. So the front, you've got Spider-Man in his very, very typical Spider-Man pose. The image wraps around the box. So you've got his foot coming back through here and you've got the details down the side. And then on the other side, it says Spider-Man. And then on the top of the box, just there, you've got the Spider-Man Homecoming logo as well. So that is right there. But let's open this up and take a look. I love these boxes. These are like the window display boxes. Really cool. You can see Spider-Man in his classic suit just there. Comes with a few little extras in there, so let's open this up properly and take a look at the accessories. I realize I am sitting in front of a blue screen as well right now, so if the box doesn't show up properly, like these little bits here, it's because I'm in front of a blue screen. So. That will be why. So, accessories. We have a lot in this box. There is a lot in there. Let's get started and take a look at all of these accessories. We've got four extra pairs of hands. Classic one where he is crouching down so his hand is like this there. You get the point. Then you've got a couple of clenched fists with a hole in the middle of them so that you can put the webs in there so he can hold on to some webs as if he's swinging. Then you've got some relaxed ones so his hands are just kind of like this, for example. Then you've also got these little side bits which go underneath his arms so as if he's like, it makes him easier to, to glide when he's, when he's, he's jumping through the air. You know, there's flying squirrels where they just go like that and then a the thing's Sugar gliders. Like, Sugar gliders. Is yeah. that what they're called? Let's take this off and take a look. We have an extra little mask right here. This is not to be worn on the figure itself, on the head sculpt of Tom Holland. But if you have the, the facial head sculpt on the figure, then you can have it holding it as if he's just taken off his mask and it looks quite cool. Then we've got a little Science Today book. Here. And this is really, really cool because the pages are actual pages. You can actually flip these pages. How cool is that? And then in the pages, it's actually got, it, it has words. This product is suitable for ages 15 and up. Please read these instructions carefully before you open this product. Blah, 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 blah. And it's literally the same on all the pages. You can see those are actual words there. <laughs> really, really cool that it's, it's They've actually made a book. Very cool little Science Today book there for his book bag. Because Spider-Man is a high school student. Then he also comes with some earphones because we know that Spider-Man loves to listen to music. So headphones, not earphones, sorry. And they will just fit over either of the head sculpts. You've got a little backpack right here, which is very cool. The zips actually work so you can open the backpack up. It's got a front compartment and a back compartment, but if you wanted to empty that out and then you could put your accessories in the bag just like so. Then we've got four extra sets of eyes. These are magnetic eyes. That's never, you're never gonna see that, but. He's got four sets of eyes. He's got one that's really wide open. He's got another one that's kind of like he's he's like angry and then there's another one where he's squinting and then there is another one where he's just got some he's got red under there and these are all magnetic and they can be swapped out with the eyes on the spider-man figure himself here looking at the webs the webs are very similar to the ones that were in the 
homemade suit version of this. You've got one of these with the weird shape, like so. And then you've got two long ones, like this. And you've got two short ones. Now these can be attached to his little wristlets that he's got right here. So you've got two spare, spare wrist cuffs. These ones don't have the hole in them. The ones that he's wearing right now do have the hole in them so that you can attach these like so. So it is just as if he is shooting that web right at you. I like that you can do that. With the longer ones, what you can do with those is attach this little web right here to the end. That goes there. And then this can then also go in here. So he's got the longer web right there that you can put into. But I'm not going to be using those because I just don't like the way they look. Then we'll take a look at his stand really quickly and then we will take a look at the figure himself. You've got the Spider-Man Homecoming logo on there with Spider-Man's face just there. Cute little logo. Looks very cool. Because it's Spider-Man, it has to be bendy so that he can fly through the air. So this. It's one of those bendy stands. And we have our Spider-Man stand sorted. Floating in the air, if you want him floating in the air, just like this. But I probably won't have him floating in the air. I might do, who knows, very poseable. But the fabric that they used for this suit makes it quite wrinkly, quite fast. It depends how you wanna, how you wanna display him. If you want him in a museum pose, he's gonna be fine. But if you want to pose him in like, crazy extravagant ones, you are gonna stretch that a little bit and then it's going to crease as you put it back in place. But that is basically it, that's the stand. But I love this suit, this um, Spider-Man suit. I love the colors, I love how it's just very much the classic Spider-Man. On the back of him, he's got his little spider logo just there. And then the head is really, really cool as well because this is fabric, this is stitched on. So the fabric completely matches the fabric of the suit itself. Um, he's incredibly poseable very accurate to the movie. I really love him. That is Spider-Man just there. I'm going to swap out his head for the Tom Holland head sculpt so we can compare this one to the homemade suit Spider-Man. It's a very accurate Tom Holland head sculpt. I'm not, I'm not denying that, but I just don't like how he's looking off to the side. I prefer if he would be looking straight ahead, but it is good that you've got the two options. So if you want to have standard Spidey head, if you want to have Spider-Man with his mask off, you can have the Tom Holland head sculpt. And it is a very, very accurate representation of Tom Holland. It does look really, really good. It's a, it's a great likeness and an all over very, very cool figure. I'm very impressed with him. Love him to bits. Now that I've got the head sculpt on the Spider-Man figure, let's take a look at the other Spider-Man figure so we can compare the two of them. So here we have the two Spider-Man homecoming figures from Hot Toys. This one is obviously the more classic Spider-Man look and this is his homemade suit. That there is the two Tom Holland head sculpts together. They are both very, very cool. Very good likenesses of Tom Holland. My favorite is Definitely the head sculpt on this and the outfit on this absolutely love spider-man super excited for the new spider-man movie to come out Spider-man 3 has just started filming so it's not that long that we have to wait Maybe just a couple of years, but it is on the way and if you are a massive Tom Holland fan and you like gaming Or you probably already do know that Tom Holland is going to be playing Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie which is coming to cinemas, I don't know when, but it is a Sony film, which kind of ties in with the Sony Spider-Man thing, I guess. They like their Tom Holland and they're gonna use him for whatever they can. Really excited for that, really excited for Spider-Man 3. Let me know in the comments down below if you love Spider-Man, what do you think of this figure? Do you have this figure? Are you planning on getting this figure? I know it's been out for a good few years now, but it's never too late to start collecting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. There is more coming. See you later. Bye.